on the gate. They're heading toward the start. And they're off up front. Charlie sprints out of there for Dave Pallone for the lead. From the outside is Gold Dust Beach is firing up to challenge him. Village Jolt is third. And Stonebridge Regal is driving on fourth on the outside as they head around the opening turn. Racing in fifth on the inside is Glittering Beaches. He's followed up second last by Roddy's Bags again who gapped the gate slightly. And Cam's Fool trails the field. So they move toward the quarter and it's Campbell and Gold Dust Beach showing the way. Stonebridge Regal highlined up on the outside second to press for the front. Right. Opening quarter in 27 and 2, and now Jack Moiseev and Stonebridge Regal hustle on to take the lead. Gold Dust Beach is now back racing in second. Up front, Charlie is third, and Village Jold is tipped out and underway. He's now third and hustling quickly on the outside toward the lead. He's now up into second, just a length and a half away, nearing the half mile marker. Further back is Glittering Beaches riding the pylons from fifth. Then Roddy's bags again, and Cam's fooled the trailer. Village Jold hits the half in 54 and 2, a 27 second. Second sprint on the back stretch, and Village Jolt is kicked away now. Two and a half lengths in front. Stonebridge Regal, the whip on his tail, trying to dent the margin from second. Racing in third is Gold Dust Beach with three eights to go. Up front, Charlie is fourth. Glittering Beaches on the inside, fifth. Then Roddy's bags again, and Cam's Fool trails the field. And Village Jolt is the one to catch now. Three lengths in front, and Village Jolt paces through three quarters in 122 and two. Gold Dust Beach up on the outside into second. Stonebridge Regal trying to hang in there at the rail third. Up front Charlie is fourth. Roddy's bags again is fifth. It's Village Joel with a two length lead an eighth of a mile out. Gold Dust Beach is coming to him on the outside. Up front Charlie looking to pull off a big upset on the far outside. Up front Charlie coming on to take the lead. Gold Dust Beach there. Roddy's bags again third. Up front Charlie upsets in the Breeders' Crown elimination. Tight for second. Gold Dust Beach or Roddy's bags again. Then Village Joel and Cam's Fool won 50 and one. And Stonebridge Regal trying to hang in there at the rail third. Up front, Charlie is fourth. Roddy's bags again is fifth. It's Village Joel with a two-length lead, an eighth of a mile out. Gold Dust Beach is coming to him on the outside. Up front, Charlie looking to pull off a big upset on the far outside. Up front, Charlie coming on to take the lead. Gold Dust Beach there. Roddy's bags again third. Up front, Charlie upsets in the Breeders' Crown elimination. Tight for second, Gold Dust Beach or Roddy's bag. Front, Charlie from the first crop of Dragon again out of Love and Yankee by On the Road Again, all by Ed Mullinex of Amherst, Ohio. Kelly O'Donnell, the trainer Dave Pallone, is in the sulky. So the Little Brown Jug winning connection score with up front Charlie. He was the runner up in the Woodrow Wilson to Village Jolt last year as a two year old, and he takes a Breeders' Crown elimination for his third consecutive victory, 150 and 1, a career best for up front Charlie. Upfront Charlie pays $30.40, 2020 20, and 1080. Finishing second, the six Gold Dust Beach, 1160 and 980. And third, number four, Roddy's Bags again, eight even. Five, six exacta, 239 20. Five, six, four try, 582.70, the $1 payoff. The pick three of four, four, five, 541 dollars and 10 cents. In the winner's circle from the North Haledon Unico group, Larry Seclary, Vincent. Gretchi, Jean Catania, and Bill Burke making the trophy presentation.